Hi, in this video we're looking at pressure scales. Now let's just start with the definition of pressure. Pressure, it can be defined in three words. It's force per area. And what that means is the amount of force that's exerted over a specific amount of area. And so a lot of times if you're looking at pressure scales, uh, one of the most common ones is PSI. That's what uh, car tire pressure is measured in. PSI stands for pounds per square inch. A pound is a measure of mass, it's a force, and per square inch, well there's your area, it's inches squared. Um, now in chemistry we don't really use PSI, uh, we really prefer to use these three. The best is atmospheres, that is the uh, standard unit for pressure, um, but we sometimes will also use kilopascals, um, or we'll use uh, one that's called TOR. Uh, it's also referred to as millimeters of mercury, or MMHG. Um, if you pull out your phone right now and ask Siri what the current barometric pressure is in the city that you live in, uh, she may actually give you inches of mercury, which you can convert inches of mercury into millimeters of mercury. But I want to kind of show you how to convert these things. And so here are our three most common pressure uh, units, and this is the factors that we use to convert them. One atmosphere is equivalent to 101.3 kilopascals, and that's also equivalent to 760 tor, which is the same thing as 760 millimeters of mercury. Using these relationships here, you can convert between any of the three of these. Now, if you're curious, uh, and maybe your teacher's asking you for PSI, uh, if we add in PSI, it's 14.7. Uh, pounds per square inch is equivalent to all three of these uh, other pressure uh, measurements. But we're going to stick with these three in my class. So let's do a couple example problems. This one says convert 0.75 atmospheres to kilopascals. I just want to point out that this here is not a typo. Pascal is a PA. Kilopascal is a thousand pascals. So the, the front K there is lowercase to represent kilo, um, but then the, the P is capitalized. So it's important that you kind of recognize that. Well, let's start with what we're given. We're essentially just using dimensional analysis here. Um, I, I want to convert this into kilopascals. And so on the bottom, I'm immediately going to put the unit that I want to get rid of. In this case, it's atmospheres. And look, one atmosphere is equal to 101.3 kPa. And so that's how I'd set that up. I'm essentially just taking this 0.75 and multiplying it by... 101.3 and I get um, 76 76 kilopascals I just want to match two sig figs because I've started with two sig figs so I'll end up with two in my answer let's do one more this says uh, convert 865 millimeters of mercury to atmospheres now don't forget tor and millimeters of mercury are the same thing um, so 865 865 millimeters of mercury is what I'm given and that's what I want to convert uh, so on the bottom, 760 millimeters of mercury and one atmosphere. Yeah, don't be fooled by the fact that TOR and MMHG are the same thing. Um, my first name is Nicholas, but I go by Nick, but technically I have two names. It's still referring to just me, so that's the same idea here. This is 1.14 atmospheres. Okay, so that's it. That's how you convert between uh, pressure scales. Uh, three types of pressure. The, the most common one in chemistry is atmospheres. Um, but sometimes, and you'll see in future videos, we have uh, lab equipment that expresses uh, pressure in inches of mercury, millimeters of mercury, which is the same thing as tor, kilopascals. It's important to know how to get between all three types or more types of pressure scales. Thank you.